kill for me. Kill for me, my darling. Wow, I don't even know how this one went under the radar for me. Only reason why I'm picking this up now and talking about it is because it stars the Scream Queen legend. Katie Cassidy, although she's not going to be a blonde in this one. And then that is the girl from Revolution, Spuridakis or something. I'll put the name in the description. This, she went from, Katie Cassidy went from doing Nightmare on Elm Street remake, Black Christmas remake, When a Stranger's Calls remake, and a whole bunch of CW shows, to now doing horror movies so obscure that a DVD hasn't even been released for this yet. And it's out on DVD in about three weeks, February 12, 2013, officially. It will be rated R. There doesn't seem to be any nudity in it. It's directed by Michael Greenspan. He is the director who directed the Adrian Brody movie Wreck Wrecked. That seems like a combination of like simple plan and like it's kind of like a thriller where he loses amnesia and he wakes up and pieces the puzzle back together and everyone that's seen it has liked it. All I've seen is the trailer from it. It looks really interesting. I can't wait to get my hold a hold of it. So um, if you read the synopsis for this, which I'll put in the description, it basically tells you the whole plot from start to finish and you could tell the twist. Basically, the synopsis has it as these are two battered women who move into who move in with each other, who are college women, and uh, they have a troubled past, and they make a pact to stand up for each other. And one of the girlfriend's ex-boyfriends comes after them, and and since they made the pact, the other one they stick up for each other and they try to kill the boyfriend but it turns out that we don't know who the killer is or who was the victim and the girl it seems as if Katie Cassidy is going to play the good girl and who's going to get deceived into helping this girl kill her boyfriend even though she probably used to beat up her boyfriend and she's the psychotic I think it was the work of a psychotic. Wait, that was my Dana Kimmel Sweet 16 impression. When she's at lunch and it cuts to that scene, she's like, I think it was the work of a psychotic. After the first murder. Yeah, no one's seen that. What am I saying? Only Dustin Keckler's probably seen Sweet 16. Honestly, if anyone has seen that, please leave a comment. 80 slasher. Anyway, I think I pretty much said everything all in the information box. This was JBM from Villain News. Click on my channel for more horror and comic book movie updates. I'm out.